Hey everybody, my name is Shana and welcome to my Shana Moana channel. Today is Friday, you know what that means, Tuesdays and Fridays are my recording days. Before I get into today's video, I just want to say I apologize for any background noise or for my jaw. It's making weird sounds, I don't know why. It doesn't hurt, it's just annoying. It's like happening right here. It sounds like a scratching sound every time I talk. I'm not really sure if you will hear it in today's video, but I'm sorry. As you can see, I'm back at my dad's work. Last time I had my iPod on a little tripod behind there, like right there, behind me, so yeah. We're gonna just jump into today's video. I'm going to be doing a little review on the Candyman movie that just came out and I would like to start off by saying that I like to talk a little bit about my learning disabilities once in a while just to remind you why I am the way I am and the way I talk and just to talk about it for new subscribers as well. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining. I make videos twice a week because I live on disability. This gives me something to do. I enjoy doing this. I'm glad I'm back doing this. I am so excited to make more videos for as long as I can because anything can happen. Let's just talk about it. So yes, I was born with permanent brain damage. I have learning disabilities that are invincible. Invincible. <laughs> they are invisible disabilities, which means you cannot see them. I look normal on the outside, but my brain is just not right. I was born with two disorders, fetal alcohol syndrome and auditory processing disorder. They suck. All right. <sighs> Some days I feel like I'm on top of the world, like, I'm, I'm alive, I'm living on disability, my life is great, and then other days I feel so down to the point where I, where I just wish I could be normal. I wish I didn't have to stutter so much and repeat myself, and I wish I could drive a car, I wish I could go to work and do what regular people do. But that's just not realistic for me. I am never going to be normal. I am special needs, if that's what you want to call it. I want to be normal, but I can't because that's just not the way my brain functions. And I have to accept that even though it's hard. Uh, you know what, whether you have disabilities or not, everybody has their good days and their bad days. All the stuff that I want to say is in my head, but I can't get it out right sometimes. And you know what? <laughs> that makes my videos kind of fun. So instead of me always deleting videos that I mess up in, maybe I should just keep in the funny parts. <laughs> That's kind of funny because it's like if I mess up really badly, that's going to be on film. It's going to be on video for the whole world to see. You know what? My channel is not popular and I'm okay with that because I make videos for fun. I don't do this for fame or fortune. I just make these videos because I live on disability. And since we are halfway done, I want to get into talking about the new Candyman movie that came out this year. I'm going to be doing a little mini review. So let's just skip to that. What else do I have to talk about? Nothing. There are some things in my life, obviously, that are personal that I'm not always going to bring up. Like, you don't have to always talk about every single thing that is happening in your life. My freaking jaw is annoying. I hate it. It sounds like a like one of those candy wrappers that's like stuck in my jaw. I don't know why it's doing that. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. It's time for the Candyman review. 
Alright, so apparently this movie isn't as scary as the old one. And I grew up watching scary movies and stuff like that. I can't remember if I've seen the original Candyman movie. But a lot of people say this movie is not as scary as the first one. There are going to be some spoilers, so brace yourselves. <laughs> um, I went to go see this movie once, and at first I was really confused. I didn't see it again, but I did read about it online. So the movie starts out with an innocent man being beaten by police, and of course when I was reading it online, I was reading from The Guardian, and it mentioned about political aspects in that movie. So it showed some police brutality in the 70s, and, sorry, I'm not sure if you heard that. Uh, what else did they show? The Candy Man's basically just a myth. It's where you stand in front of a mirror and you say Candyman five times and then you die. That's like saying Bloody Mary in, in the movie, in the mirror, in the movie, <laughs> in the mirror, and nothing happens. You know what? Even as an adult, you're kind of scared to try it. You know it's fake, <laughs> but standing in the mirror in the bathroom at night, I don't know why. Like, I don't even want to try that. <laughs> and I'm like, 26. The movie's good. It's not horrible. It just has a low rating. It's what, 6.4 out of 10? I didn't read any negative reviews. I read mostly good ones. It's a good movie. It's not as gory as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be very bloody, but it wasn't like a thrashing moment every single time. That would be kind of boring if a movie was like that. If it was constant blood and killings and stuff like that, that would be kind of boring because you want a real movie where it's there's like a timeline. There's um, what you would call it. Oh my god, what's it? A plot line. You want to follow the plot line and you want to. I'm not even sure where I'm going with this. <laughs> See? I'm already messing up my sentences because I'm trying to figure out what else that movie is about. They had obviously some comic relief because they had a, a gay interracial couple, which I think was great for the movie. Every movie has to have a comic relief in some way. You know what? It's a good movie. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. I need to watch the old movie from the 90s. I think there's like three Candyman movies from the 90s. I have to check Google. I don't know what's with my jaw, okay? I wish I could get it fixed. Maybe I need to crack it. Did that work? <laughs> it's a good movie. There's a lot of art to it as well and they do oh in the movie I forgot what else did they talk about how rundown neighborhoods are often ignored and people call them the ghetto neighborhoods because the houses are like run down and kind of messy and moldy and they're dirty and they're not being taken care of that's a good part of the movie as well I think people should go see it I think they should have released that movie in October. It's kind of like a perfect Halloween movie because it's scary. All scary movies should be released. Well, I guess if people start celebrating Halloween in September, like as soon as September hits, everybody's all in the Halloween mood. Depends if you like it or not. Not everybody likes Halloween, but Halloween's my favorite holiday next to Christmas. All right, I've got to go. I will see you guys in my next video. I'm not really sure if that was much of a review. I don't remember every single detail of the movie. It was short though. It wasn't that long. It was a good movie. I tried to just give you guys the important details. At least the details that I thought was important. I guess everybody has different opinions on movies and what they think is important and what should be talked about most. 
but we are down 10 minutes and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I apologize for being awkward. <laughs> you know what? You have to be weird in life because no matter what, people are always going to judge you and I'm happy doing what I do. So, you know the drill. Please continue to subscribe, like this video, comment down below, turn on the notifications. My social media links are down in the description box below, along with anything that I forgot to say. I will see you guys next time. Tuesdays and Fridays are my growing days, because that's just the way I've always done it. And we're almost at the 11 minute mark. We have about 15 seconds. I'm so excited. I'm really glad to be back here. Alright, we have 10 seconds. <sighs> Alright, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, peace.